Hello everybody and welcome back to lesson 14 types of research variables. Based on their roles and relationship with one another, types of research variables can be divided into five that is independent variable, dependent variable, mediator, moderator and control variables. Before explaining each types of research variables, let's define what research variables in general. Research variables are elements that can change or vary. They are building blocks of any scientific study or research. Research variables are crucial for defining and understanding the relationship between different factors in a research. Research variable is just an attribute of an object of the study. Research variables are the characteristics or the factors that can be measured observed, manipulated, or controlled in a research. The first types of research variable is independent or antecedent variable. As the name implies, it does not depend on the other variable, rather it becomes or it is a cause or a predictor for the other variable. It is a factor that the researcher manipulates or controls to observe its effect on the other variable. The other variable may be as a dependent variables. Let's take one example, effect of study time on test scores. So the study time is obviously an independent variable which does not depend on the other variable, rather it affects the test scores. So manipulating the independent variable that is the study time by assigning different groups of the participants with different amounts of the time to study, so we can just observe the variation of the test score, that is the variations of the dependent variable as a result of the effect of the independent variable. Coming to the second types of research variables, that is a dependent variable, it is the outcome or response that is being measured or observed as a result of the effect of the independent variable. It is the effect or the outcome that is influenced by the independent variable. So considering the previous example, that is the effect of study time on the test score, so the dependent variable is obviously the test score which uh, can depend or which, which is affected by the study time, that is the independent variable. So researchers measure the test scores, researchers primarily want to measure the test scores variation as a result of, as a result of the effect of the third time that is the independent variable. Mathematically, we can uh, show the relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable like this, y equals f of x, so x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable that depends on the x. Uh, so when we see this uh, linear equation, so y is a dependent variable and x is the independent variable that affects the dependent variable y. When we put as a conceptual framework, we have to put like this, uh, like this picture. Uh, the independent variable is put on the left and uh, with the arrow towards the right direction, we have to just connect with the dependent variable. Look, the study time is the independent variable and the test score is the dependent variable. Coming to the third type of uh, research variable, that is the mediator. The mediator variable explains the process or it is the way in which the independent variable affects the dependent variable or it serves as an intermediate through which the, inter the independent variable affects what? The dependent variable. Or we can say it is a part of the causal pathway of an effect from the independent variable towards the dependent variable. It tells you how or why an effect takes place. We can alternatively call a mediator variable an intervening variable, which transmits the effect of independent variable towards the dependent variable. So we have to put the mediator variable uh, in the middle of the dependent variable and the, uh, in the independent variable. So from this picture, uh, we can see that mediator variable is caused by the independent variable so the independent variable is this one and the mediator variable 
the influence is a dependent variable. So the mediator variable, when we consider this portion of the model, so the mediator variable will be the dependent variable for this independent variable. When we take this side, this side of the model, so the mediator variable becomes the independent variable for the dependent variable. Moving to the types of mediator variables, there are two types, that is a full mediation and a partial mediation. In the case of full mediation, without the mediator in the model, there is no significant relationship between the independent and the dependent variable. So to have the effect of independent variable with the dependent variable, we have to insert the mediator. The mediator here is the link. But in the case of partial mediation, there is still a statistical significant relationship between the independent and the dependent variable even without mediator. If we also consider or incorporate the mediator, there is also a statistical significant relationship. That is, the direct relationship and the indirect relationship are both significant. But when we incorporate the mediator, when we incorporate the mediator, the direct effect reduces because it is taken by the uh, mediator effect. Some of the um, effect of the independent variable is taken by the mediator. So when we insert the mediator, the direct effect uh, reduces. Let's look at the example. So examining the relationship between job satisfaction that is the independent variable and job performance, the dependent variable. So job engagement could be the mediator variable. That is, job satisfaction increases or job satisfaction affects the job engagement. In return, the job engagement affects the job performance, we can say. So, higher job satisfaction may lead to increased job engagement and which in turn improves the job performance. So, if we have a mediator variable in our research, so our conceptual framework looks like this. So this line shows a direct effect, that is the effect of independent variable on the dependent variable. And this is the indirect effect, that is the effect of independent variable through the mediator. So this is the indirect effect, the indirect effect through the mediator variable. But this one is the direct effect of the independent variable to the dependent variable. Coming to the fourth types of research variables, that is a moderator variable. A moderator variable influences the strings or it affects the strings or the direction of the relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable. Actually, moderator effect is an interaction effect of the moderator and the independent variable on the dependent variable. We can say it is a moderator effect or an interaction effect between the two, that is a moderator and the independent variable. It indicates under what conditions the relationship between the independent and the dependent variable exists. Let's look at the example to better understand. So examining the effect of study time on the test scores, in this case, the learning style can be a moderator. So the learning style either strengthens or weakens the relationship between the study time and the test scores. So here, we can also add another uh, moderator, by the way. There are a lot of moderators that can affect their relationship. The last types of research variable is the control variables. When we deal about the cause and effect relationship between the two variables, we are interested just to know the effect of the independent variable or the dependent variable. But there are still other variables that affect the dependent variable. But that is not our interest. So just to minimize the effect of those other variables on the dependent variables, we have to control them. It will be controlled just to minimize the effect on the dependent variable. So as to ensure the observed effect is as a result of only the independent variables. So variables having high impact on the dependent variable but are not related to the purpose of the study are the control variables. Let's look at the example, the effect of new drug on blood pressure. Actually, here our interest is to know the effect of new drug, only new drug on blood pressure. But 
we know that it is generally true that the blood pressure can be affected by other variables like age, gender, weight, and diet. But this is not our interest. Our interest is just to know the effect of new drug on blood pressure rather than just to know the effect of age, gender, weight, and diet on the blood pressure. So we have to control these variables. We have to control, that means we have to minimize or we have to reduce the effect of those variables on the blood pressure so as to know any changes in the blood pressure are solely attributed to the new drug or not influenced by the other factors that is the control variables so this is all about today's discussion thank you for listening bye